there, I'm Diane from Compassionate Body Pilates and today I want to talk to you about the pelvic floor. Very misunderstood, very um, not talked about issue a lot of the time unless you've had a baby. But it's really important for both men and women and anybody who's had babies or not, okay, to think about your pelvic floor and try and um, exercise it regularly. So, your pelvic floor, just a little bit about what it actually is. It's a sling of muscle that goes uh, in between your legs, okay, runs from the front to the back, and it's very important in holding your organs in place. It's a really strong muscle that has to work all the time. And the pelvic floor um, is, it needs to be exercised um, in a number of different ways. So a lot of the time people tell you, oh, just do hundreds and hundreds of lifts and you'll be fine. But that's not all you need to do. You need to also do some slow, sustained lifts. You need to do some quick and pulsing lifts. You also need to think about not just the front of your pelvic floor, but the back of your pelvic floor. So if you think about it like a hammock and it has a front and a back point okay, that connects at the front in between of your, of your legs and at the back, you need to try and strengthen that whole area. All right. So uh, you could think about your back passage, as it were, and try and lift there, start there, slowly pull up towards the front and then lift it up. Okay, It's kind of like a, a strange sort of zip feeling. It's hard to explain. But give that a try. See if you can do that. And try and move slowly through that whole movement. And it's going to be much better for your pelvic floor rather than just lifting at the front all the time, which is what a lot of people do. Um, another little tip for you about pelvic floor, especially if you're pregnant, you should try lying on your back if you can, bringing your knees in towards your chest, hands on your feet, and try doing some pelvic floor work in that position because the baby's not pressing right down on that pelvic floor at that particular moment can really help uh, give you some extra sort of movement in the area. And that's all my tips for today about the pelvic floor. If you want to learn more, please uh, visit my website or send me an email. It's compassionatebodypilates.com and also on my Facebook page there will be lots more tips and videos for you. Okay, take care and happy Pilates to you!